Hey everyone and welcome to another Sunday. It is so, so good to be here with you. Uh, I hope that you are enjoying slightly warmer weather. If it's warming up where you are, it really is where I am and I'm so, so grateful. Uh, but to get really warm, we're gonna worship. So everyone stand to your feet. Up, 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 up. Let's just dot on the spot. Get nice and warm. Flick the hands out. Uh, shake the feet, you can't see my feet, but just shake your feet, go crazy. Go crazy, reach up, reach up, reach up. Okay, touch your toes. I'm watching you flat on the floor, like Keith. I'm kidding, Keith can't, can't do that. Okay, one more time, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Move the furniture out the way, it's gonna get wild. Are you guys ready? Let's go.
my heart as I will sing of your love Nothing's gonna stop me, no, nothing's gonna stop me I'm giving you all the praise Because your love is better than anything Your love has given me life, Jesus Your love is all I've ever needed, yeah you give is making me say, whoa, I worship you, my king, the love that you give is making me spin around, ooh, yeah, spin, spin around, ooh, yeah, jump up and down, ooh, yeah, spin, spin around, ooh, yeah, whoa, I worship you, my king, the love that you good to praise and worship our king well while you guys are still standing if you sat get right back up because we're not sitting just yet we're gonna kick off today with our memory verse and I want to see if you guys can nail those actions and those lyrics okay so get your breath back because I know you guys are busting the moves deep breaths Woo, okay memory verse you ready in three two one let's go Go into the world, let it be known, let it be known To every boy and girl, let it be shown, let it be shown Go into the world, living it out, living it out To every boy and girl, making it count, making it count People gotta hear it Shout, shout, shout At the top of your lungs You gotta sing, sing, sing Gotta give everything You gotta make a noise So everyone hears The good news of our Savior You gotta go, go, go Into all of the world You gotta preach, preach, preach Preach the gospel to all You gotta make Him known To all of creation The good news to is Jesus Into the world, let it be known, let it be known To every boy and girl, let it be shown, let it be shown Go into the world, living it out, living it out To every boy and girl, making it count, making it count People gotta hear it Shout, shout, shout At the top of your lungs You gotta sing, sing, sing Gotta give everything You gotta make a noise So everyone hears The good news of our Savior You gotta go, go, go Into all of the world You gotta preach, preach, preach Preach the gospel to all You gotta make Him known To all of creation The good news to is Jesus Wow guys, I don't know about you, but I've had this memory verse song stuck in my head all week. 
I hope you guys have as well because then you guys are actually learning it, which is a good thing. So don't worry if you if you have the song stuck in your head. But for now, you guys can take a seat and catch your breath because you guys are probably a little bit tired. We are continuing our series, The Hostage. It is week two and last week you met our special force team. Do you guys think they're cool? If you think they're cool, hit me with the thumbs up. I think they're really cool. Um, you can show the person next to you a thumbs up as well and nod your head of approval because they are really cool. This week, we're going to be checking out what they are going to be doing and we're going to be learning about the color dark blue. What I need you guys to do is to try and see how the color dark blue fits into what our special agents are doing today. So let's take a look at this. Well, team, that sums up everything we need to do for this week. I have a couple things that I have to do, but we'll, we'll take a break and we'll resume in a bit. Was someone gonna get Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Special Forces Headquarters, Agent Rainer speaking. What's your emergency? This morning? What? Have you got any leads? Any other GPS coordinates? Alright. The team's ready. We'll get right there. Our team looks like we have a mission for, the, for today. Well, what is it? Come well, on, tell us. Oh, I'm so ready for Calm this. down. Alright. A, fa a wealthy family named the Livingstons. Two of their children were taken hostage this morning by a gang of thugs called the Desert Cobras. Okay. We'll check it. Thanks for that, dude. Dear Mr. Livingston, if you ever wish to see your precious children again, you need to pay me, oh, I mean, I mean us, 10 billion rand. What? Is that all we're doing this for? Just a little bit higher. Uh, 100 billion rand in the next 25 hours. You mean 24 hours? In the next 24 hours. Okay guys, can we have a little bit of focus here? Make, make me look like an amateur, you know? Um, do you have anything to say? <coughs> Sorry, I can't hear you? Uh, as you can see, their mouths are full. Anyway, Mr. Livingston, your 24 hours start now. Do we have any idea as to where they are? No, but I do have some leads. Okay, and what leads are those? It looks like whilst the kids were playing sports at the local sports club, one black car came with tinted windows. Eyewitness didn't really get suspicious because their father comes to pick them up because of that nature. But everyone started thinking why did the kids leave without saying goodbye and the game wasn't even over yet. Okay, so what's the plan of action? Yeah, what's the plan? Uh, uh, calm down. It's not a video game. People's lives are at stake here. Mm, exactly. So what I'm thinking is, I hear that there's some video footage that was taken this morning. So what we can do is we can just track the car registration number and just go look for that car throughout the whole city. Mm, yeah, that sounds good. Yes, dear. Right, is that a plan? Let's yes, go, sir. guys. Yes, let's go. Yes, sir. Let's go. The Special Forces team have received the mission. Now it's time for them to put together their game plan. We too have received a mission and we also need to put together a game plan. But our mission is Jesus Christ himself. So guys, as you know, we are doing a series and we're going to be learning things about different colors. And today we are learning about the color blue. Remember, hit me with the thumbs up because it's our thumb. We're going to be learning about the color blue. And this is the problem, which is sin. Now, if we look at our special forces team, they had a problem, but that problem was the kids that were taken hostage. And our problem is the color blue, which is sin. Yeah, and we know that sin separates us from God, and so it's a big, big problem. But now, just as the Special Forces team didn't hesitate to get on yep. mission and to go out there and find the kids who were kidnapped and taken hostage, we too need to be on a mission as well to see the lost saved. Because you see, Jesus doesn't want anyone left mm. trapped in their yep. sin. You see, the Special Forces team didn't want the kids to remain hostages. They wanted to save them. And so we have to be the same of getting out there on the mission of Jesus, of seeing the lost who are trapped in their sin saved. And the only hope and answer to dark blue, the problem which is sin, is Jesus. Mm. So guys, let's take a look at this Bible story explaining how much Jesus loves us. Yep, here we go. Today's story is about a shepherd and a whole lot of sheep, 100 to be exact. 
Back in the day when Jesus walked the earth, he would tell people stories to teach them really important lessons. His stories were always so great and always showed the true love of God. Let's begin with our main character in the story today, the shepherd. Now the shepherd loved his sheep. He spent a lot of time with the sheep and gave all the love to them that they could possibly need. He would take them for walks in the best pastures where they could graze for hours and hours without a worry in the world. He would brush their coats and clean their hooves, taking the utmost care that all his sheep were taken care of. The shepherd would read them bedtime stories and would sing them to sleep every night. They were his pride and joy. He would fight off anything that would try and harm his sheep, like wolves or any other dangerous animals. Regardless of what danger it put him in, nothing was too much for the shepherd to keep his sheep safe. But then one day, things took a turn for the worst. A massive storm came out of nowhere. There was thunder and lightning everywhere. The rain was so heavy that you couldn't see anything at all. The wind started to pick up as well. It was not safe for anyone to be outside at all. The shepherd ran to gather all his sheep as quickly as he could. Once all the sheep were inside, he began to count that all his sheep were there. 99 sheep. Wait, no, that can't be it. He was missing one of his sheep. He didn't hesitate, not for a second. He went out to go and search for this missing sheep. The shepherd would search high, he would search low, he even searched under every place he could. He climbed up trees to see as far across the grasslands. He crossed rivers and walked every road. He didn't look back, he never thought of giving up, even when things got tough. He would not stop until he found his lost sheep. After days and days of searching, he caught a glimpse of what could be his lost sheep. He started running towards it and found a sheep caught in the fence. As quickly as he could, the shepherd released the sheep from the fence. He took the sheep and put it on his shoulders and started walking back to his house where all the other sheep were waiting, where the sheep would be safe. He rejoiced because he had found his lost sheep. That story shows us just how much God wants everyone to be saved. And that's our mission. We live in a world full of sin that can easily trap anyone. But we also live in a world full of God's love that's freely given to anyone who chooses Him. Yes, sin is a big problem, but God is way bigger and His love is inside of us. And that's why it should be our desire to see the lost saved. You see guys, just like sheep, we can also stray and become far from God. Now, we become far from God when we stop reading our Bibles, when our prayer life kind of fades away, and when we don't find ourselves in, in a church community where we're being built up and encouraged. And the problem with straying and becoming far from God is this, that's when we can fall into temptation to sin. Now, the thing with this is we might not lose our salvation and we're still children of God. But the problem of straying from God and being far from Him is that the further we stray, the more we live out of His blessing and His favor. And we want to be in God's blessing, not so. Also, the further we stray, the less we hear His voice. And also, the less we hear that nudge from the Holy Spirit saying, hey, that's actually not cool. Or, hey, don't do that. Or, hey, watch out for that. And so what happens is, we kind of then fall into more sin and more temptation because we're not hearing God's voice or the Holy Spirit prompting us. But now the beautiful thing is that we are never ever too far or we've never strayed too far away for God to come and save us. No matter where you find yourself or no matter where your friends or family might find themselves, God is always there saying, come back and I'm coming looking for you because He loves us that that much. And so I want to pray for you today. If you feel like that sheep who has strayed far from God, maybe you've never even been a child of God and you're thinking, I want to be a part of God's family. I'm going to pray a prayer for us today that all you need to do is repeat after me. Super, super simple. And basically what you're saying is, God, I want to be part of your family. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I know that I mess up sometimes. I know that I sin. But I thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross, for forgiving my sins, so that I can be set free, that I can be a part of your family, I can be one of your sheep, and be your child of God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you prayed that prayer for the first time today, yes, welcome to the family. Make sure you tell somebody about it because it is by far the biggest and best decision you will make in your entire life. So with that, let's stand to our feet. We're going to worship, 
fix our gaze, our attention on Jesus and just give him our all this morning. Amen. Let's worship. Spread your wings and fly for Jesus like a butterfly in the breeze. Stay free and alive for Jesus like the monkeys in the trees. And down by the waterfall, you can see giraffes so tall. Keep your head up high. Try to touch the sky for Jesus. Father God, thank you so much for today. Thank you that we can come together and we can worship you, that we can sing songs to you. Lord God, I pray that you continue to show us how much you love each and every one of us, how we can continue to share the gospel. In your wonderful name, amen. Wow, guys, I don't know about you guys, but I have learned so much today and I hope that you guys have as well. Unfortunately, we have come to an end of our day today. But before we leave, there's a few things that I want you guys to do or listen to. And I hope that you guys continue to send us WhatsApp messages or pictures of what you guys are doing in the week of the challenges. If you are not receiving a daily devotional, pop us a message on WhatsApp as well and we'll make sure that we send through the devotionals um, to you guys that you guys can receive in the day to stay in tune with what we're doing as the weeks, days go by. But hold on, before we leave, I have a Sunday fun day for you guys. Can I need you guys to whisper Sunday and then shout fun day. Okay, so we have a Sunday fun day just for you guys. And this one is going to require a lot of strength. So show me your muscles. I don't have that much, but you guys can show me your guys' muscles as well. This is this week's Sunday fun day challenge for you guys. 
we are going to be having an arm wrestling competition at home to see who the strongest person in the house is. If you're really smart, like I would be, you might want to keep it between your siblings because if you get your parents involved, you might actually lose and then it's not too much of a competition. So go against your siblings and if you're feeling really, really strong, take on your mom, take on your dad, take on someone older than you and let us know, send us WhatsApp messages of who has been winning the Sunday Fun Day Challenge. You guys can do it in the week and I hope that you guys have a lot of fun. Show your strength, so show your sibling that you are stronger than them. I hope you guys enjoy that in the week. And one last thing for today, there's gonna be an at-home discussion page that's gonna be coming on, so stay tuned for that and discuss it with the people at home. Peace.